Now these are gorgeous. These are your stepper cards, but they're more than stepper cards. They are shaped stepper cards. Now there's loads and loads and loads of different designs in the category and in each set you're going to get six different sizes and there's various things you can do with it. I'm just going to show you what you get in one of the sets and then show you how easy it is to make the cards and you can alter them and do whatever you want. There's the templates, now that makes the large one, the really nice large one. Then you've got the slightly smaller down and smaller still and smaller still. I'm going to show you the different sizes in a minute. And then you've got that size, that size, right down to that size. Now, what I'm going to do is just get these. I'm going to show you something, may not be the same design, but it gives you an idea of the basic shape. There's the one that fits that one there, as you can see. That's a nice little one. So that is your actual design there at the back, but it's a different shape. But that's the size of card that you'll be able to make. Then the next size is this one. And that gives you a card round about that size. Next size is this one here. And this one gives you, uh, actually I got those the wrong way around, I do apologise. That's that one. The second one was that size there. That's a diamond one in this case. Then the third one, third smallest, gives you that one, that size as you can see. Then the next size down, or six size, next size up is that one this is a square one from the square range and you can see how that folds up there and you can bend it over and you've got that lovely card to start decorating you don't really need much on these cards do you then you've got the next size there and there's the size of the card that you can make with that one and then you've also got the largest size and there's the kind of card that you can make with that one as well now i'm going to show you how to make a card very similar to this one. So those are your templates. Now you've got choices here of what you want to do with them. Now I'll pop those to one side. Now first thing you can do is just print directly on to the back of the card that you're going to use. I've got this beautiful black and silver card here and I've printed the design straight from the computer, straight from the printer onto the back of my card. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is to print it off onto a piece of just ordinary card, cut that out, cut all the templates out, and then you have a template that you can just draw around. You've got the draw around bits here, just mark either side, and you can create your own template there and all the folds. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to make from just printing it on the back there. Now, when you make your own templates as well, and say you want to uh, cut them out, what you can do is actually laminate them. I've laminated a template here, so then it's going to last much longer. And all you need to do is print that onto paper and then cut them out. So here's my, here's my uh, stepper card, my shape stepper card that I'm going to make. And all I've got to do is, is just cut it out. Now, if you print this out, you, can, you don't even have to cut it out, but I've got a card size in here. I don't know if I can show you this. Let me just see if I can find one for you. Um, no, I can't see one at the moment. Okay, I was going to try and show you one, but you can use the whole card if you want to. Make sure your page has gone in straight, or you can trim it to the right size. It just depends on what kind of printer, what country you're in, size of your paper size. They, they are designed so they'll fit anywhere in the world, so it just depends on what you, the way you print them out. So all I'm doing with this one is just trimming around the edge. Now, you could either use uh, a scalpel and a metal ruler, but I'm just using an ordinary pair of scissors. So I'm just going to show you the basic folds and then give you a few options as well. So that just cuts along there. Remind me at the end, Lorraine, I've also got to just tell them about extending them if they want to extend it, because I forget all these things, you know what I'm Matt like. Yeah, so you can make your mat and layers from two. But let me just show you how easy it is to make one first. Now, what I would normally do, but I was that busy talking, is score it first, because I find it much easier to score it and then cut it out. But now I'm cutting it out. It's not the end of the world if you do it the other way around, but I just find it easier. Your card seems to slip around a little bit more if you've cut it out first. So there you go. I've cut it all out. Now, I've got my um, boning tool here. I've got my ruler, and I've got a... Um, uh, an embossing tool here, but you could use an old biro or something like that that's not got any ink in it left. Now, as you can see here, you've got these little these little apertures here that I'm going to cut out.
But before I cut anything out, I'm just going to score it. Now you've got some options here. I'll show you these in a minute. I've got this option here. I can crease either side as well, or I can just do across the top. I'm just going to do the one crease first, and then you, you've got an option of making it any size you want. And all you do with this one, in this particular case, because this is where the fold is, you just go right the way across there. And then you're going to go across the bottom, like so, and across that bottom bit there too. And these are the stepper bits at the front here. So that's that bit done. Now to cut these out, the way I do it is, is use my metal ruler, use my metal ruler and just score it first. Now I'm only going to cut the, t the bottom two out, the bottom two out, because the top ones I'm going to do a different way. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So there's the bottom. I'm just going to score down one side. Now I could use the scalpel for all of it if I wanted to, but I just want to give you the option because a lot of people don't like using scalpels. But you kind of need the scalpel to, to set it to start it off, or you could just put your scissors in the middle and just cut around. But I try and keep it so I can use it on a card somewhere. So I've just made a slit either side, and if you make that slit, you can just put your scissors in there now and just cut down the rest of the design. Just move it around, just slot your scissors in there, and just cut that section out. This is going to give you a hexagonal shape to your card. And then I'm going to cut this section out, just slide my scissors in there and just cut down like so. Like that. Okay. Now you're thinking, well, why haven't I done those bits? Ah, crafty. Now if you actually fold it, turn it over and fold it, because you've creased it, it folds naturally there like that. And if you want to use your boning tool or the back of the ruler or something blunt, just flatten that down. And you can see then you've got the triangle shape. Now you can cut it both pieces of card together and you just cut down there to that edge and cut down there to that edge and you've done both sides then. Then you're creating that effect. You're creating the, the shape of the card. Cut down there and cut down the opposite side. So when you turn it over you have got that shape there. So if you can see, as I hold that up, you can see you've got the shape there. Now, what you can do, you see how when that folds over, let me just fold these over first. So that one's folding that way, and you can see I've already creased it so it folds easy, and just scrape that down, and then fold that over, and then just using your boning tool, just crease it so you get a nice firm crease. And there basically is your stepper card. And you can see you've got the shapes. Now, as you can see here at the top, it's the same level. If you want the sides to dip a little bit, well, then you can go, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to create this one a little bit differently. Now, you can follow those lines there, but you can also, if you measure it up, I'm just going to do it by eye, and just make them a little bit deeper. So there's my main crease. Now, I could cut there, but I can also make them a little bit bigger. So I'm going to crease down there making my own little creases, and do exactly the same on the opposite side, like so. Crease like that. And then when you turn that over, you're going to push that in. That's going to fold there. That's going to fold in, and that's going to fold there. So you get that little crease. Can I show you that? So you've got the little M-shaped crease at the end. You do exactly on the other side. And then you've got the card which gives you a different shape. So this pops out at the top and then you've got the double fold at the top there. And you can do that. To, it depends on the design that you're working with whether you do that or not. Right, what else have I got to tell you? Right, one of the things you can do is when you've got the cards, when you've got all these as well, all these shapes that are here, all these shapes, you can cut all these shapes out and use these for your mat and layering. So you would cut along there, cut all that shape out, next one down, shape there, cut one down, shape there, cut one down, shape there. You see, you can make your own mat and layers from those as well. So what have you got to do? Well, all you've got to do is go to the website, which you're already on, go to the uh, steppers, and then look at the uh, layered steppers, 
and then you can make beautiful cards like we've got here. And don't forget, they come in six different sizes, and there's lots of different ways that you can use them. And to be honest, look, they're fantastic. You only need very little on there to make them look fantastic.